This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture, Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Thursday, October 31st, 2024. Happy Halloween, happy Reformation Day. Let's open with scripture today. I'll read from 1 Peter 5. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders, all of you. Clothe yourself, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, good morning. This is Michael Ware, your host. Thanks for listening to The Morning Five. We are five days out from Election Day. Uh, This is the last episode of The Morning Five this week. We'll be with you on Monday and then Tuesday. It will be Election Day. Uh, Can I encourage you uh, to pray over the course of the coming days? Um, I just heard from some friends who uh, are are fasting and and I might might join them in that. Uh, Maybe maybe you'll consider a fast over the the coming days. Uh, I would encourage you Uh, to be an agent of peace, to be of sober mind uh, as just the next uh, verse in 1 Peter 5 calls us to be. All right, let's get to the news. First, uh, election officials are uh, hard at work to uh, both make sure our elections are secure and also to do whatever they can to uh, build confidence uh, among voters that elections are secure. There are concerns that, particularly depending on the outcome of the election, uh, of the presidential election, but also local, local and state elections, um, that um, there will be efforts both domestically and from foreign actors to sow mistrust, to sow discord uh, on election day and in the days following. Uh, would encourage you to pray for our election officials. Uh, Pray for their decision-making. Pray for their safety. Second news item, uh, the courts are already being called in to settle disputes over um, various aspects of how elections are are being run. The Trump campaign successfully argued to extend extend, uh, mail-in voting in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, Uh, Democrats in Pennsylvania have filed suit over ballot delays in Erie County, Pennsylvania. Perhaps uh, most significant uh, at this point, the Supreme Court has uh, uh, decided to allow Virginia uh, to remove about 1,600 people from its voter rolls, a move that Governor Youngkin has said Uh, is necessary to prevent non-citizens from voting. These are uh, voters who have been uh, uh, flagged as potentially non-eligible to vote uh, based on uh, their citizenship or lack thereof. Um, Civil rights groups and the Department of Justice are concerned that uh, these 
uh, purges are not always accurate and will remove eligible voters from the rolls. Uh, the Supreme Court's decision is temporary, so uh, for now, though it can change, the Supreme Court has uh, uh, is allowing Virginia to move forward uh, with removing the 1,600 or so folks from voter rolls. All right, friends, I think I'll, I'll end it there. There's, you know, bickering on the campaign trail. Uh, there, there are, um, uh, you know, these candidates are campaigning in multiple battleground states uh, every day. Um, but but I, I, I think we'll, um, let's head into uh, the rest of this week, the weekend, uh, with prayer. And then we'll be back on Monday for a final episode of the Morning Five before Election Day. For now, let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad. Because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory to is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today. As always, The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Have a great weekend. I'm Eric Stackelbeck, host of the StaxCast podcast. If you want truth and a bold take on what's happening in our world, then listen to the StaxCast now. From thought-provoking conversations about the current state of America, the impact of global events, and issues facing the body of Christ, this podcast brings you today's biggest topics that affect your life. Make sure to follow the StaxCast on your favorite listening platform and join me every Tuesday as we have Candid, thought-provoking conversations on issues that matter to you.